Um, just want to take the time to um, run a few, a few of the things you can do with it, and uh, just show you how useful it really is. Okay, so when you want to start looking for domains, you go up here to go to domain search, and in this area, you get all your choices of what you want to look at. So you can actually filter out the, the name so you can type in whatever you want whether you want it to contain what you've typed in starting with ends with or if you don't want it to contain a certain word you can type that into uh, if you're looking for a particular length of domain you can choose the option here so if you want to go for a short domain you might select uh, five characters and then you can also choose whether you want to include hyphens or exclude them and the same with digits uh, obviously to make things easy you might just want to decide that you're only looking for com, dot com, dot net and dot org domains so you might just want to tick those three but if not you might want to click all the others as well just to select everything Uh, you can choose which country you want them from so if you want to keep it English go with that or if you're looking for a foreign language domain you can click any of those uh, this bit up here is a Google PageRank filter so you can decide that you want it equal to you know one, one through to nine or what I'd normally do or what most people normally do would say look for anything above page rank 2 depending on what you're looking for if you're not too fussed about page rank then you can ignore this you want to check whether it's valid to make sure it's got a green light so you check that button if you're looking for fake stuff I don't know why you would but you can check that so the next section is going through which domain registrar you can use so they've got a choice of a few, but it's mainly Namejet, Snapnames, and GoDaddy. Now Namejet and Snapnames uh, prices both start at sixty-nine dollars, I think it is, and GoDaddy can start from you know as little as four, and you can get some real good bargains. I personally prefer, well, I use all three to be honest quite happy depending on what I'm looking for uh, but if I if I do use GoDaddy then I'd want to change the auction type to public because I find buy now are often vastly overpriced offer they normally know exactly what they're worth so it's not worth it and if I want pre-release then I'll go directly to snap names or Namejet. Uh, if I do start with an auction with GoDaddy, it'll be in public, and I'll put the bid price probably below $25, because $25 is actually what you pay to get the domain, but then you have to pay it again to register the domain, and then you have to pay again on top of that if you want to buy privacy, so that can soon stack up. So if you buy a domain for 25 bucks that's probably going to cost you the best part of fifty dollars you know if you get privacy as well as I said I normally ignore buy now price but you could you know if you want to look for buy now on GoDaddy then you can stick that in there um, I don't really use expires next or updated within or expiring or expired I do so up here is the index pages filters and I always have Google indexed more than zero at least I know then that the domain hasn't been de-indexed and I won't have any problems obviously some domains can be unindexed and are able to be re-indexed but I don't bother messing with them I just make sure it's already indexed 
uh, I don't really bother with Bing because if it's indexed in Google, it's normally indexed in Bing. Um, I ignore that. Some now the next bit I look at is domain age. Now obviously I try and get them as old as possible, but I normally put in here anything that's younger than 2005, something like that. Then you know you're going to get at least a seven-year-old domain. You could do the same with the archive, but I just stick to domain age. Um, if you want a DMOS or Yahoo um, link, then you click any of these. Uh, I don't normally go for them because they vastly in increase the price, and then I don't find they're worth it. But if you like that kind of thing, then you can just click there, and you can even decide which category it's in. Uh, that that might be a bit restrictive. Uh, domain authority. This is what I like to use: SEO OMOS filters. So if I'm looking for a domain that I'm going to get some links off. I'll go for domain authority, anything over 25, but I'd like to go, you know, closer to 40, really. Uh, links. Now, this isn't always particularly accurate, but um, you can basically fill in any of these boxes here, depending on what your, your preferred sort of link finding sources if you use Majestic you could put a number in here or if you use SEO mods you might want to put a number in here uh, it's got lots of integrated Majestic SEO details all of which you can see here so if you want, if you want something that definitely has a .gov backlink you could put a one in there and an EDU backlink, put one in there as well. And then you can change this however you want. This last bit is SEMrush filter. And then you can filter things down even more here. So, okay, I'll look for something that's got at least one .gov and at least one .edu backlink is younger than say 2007 uh, is indexed in Google uh, we'll leave that blank and is available on GoDaddy as a public auction and I want to under $25 um, I'll go for domain authority more than 25 and then once you've got everything filtered the way you want it, you just press find domains. So down here, you got expiring domains 15, expired 0, and auction 34. Now the auction domain is what I normally go for, so you hit that 34. And I'll take you into the screen, lay, listing all the domains down here. And then all these filters across, you can f use these to filter down your results as you like. I'm normally pretty impatient so the first thing I do is make sure I get the latest expiring au auctions or sorry the auctions that are going to expire next. So the next ones on GoDaddy with these metrics are going to be expiring tomorrow. So dailymortgage.com see it's still currently twelve dollars it's going to be expire it's going to be finishing tomorrow it's it was born in 2006 so it's got some decent age to it and it's got 46 score and SEO mods domain authority now with that high score I doubt, well there's, there's something wrong with that if it's only going for $12, either that or people have definitely overlooked it. So I'm going to hit this 46 and it automatically takes you to SEO Moz, Open Site Explorer. 
So we can see here domain authority 44, page authority 40, whereas it was 46. So we'll just see what it's like without the www. Dot. Okay, so we've got 44 and 53, so that's... If you were going to buy it, you'd set it up without a www. Dot, or you'd set a redirect from www. Dot to non www. Dot. Now it's got 16, over 1600 linking root domains, which is fantastic. But now let's have a look at some of these, these um, metrics. And the first one, giving it a lot of power, it's actually a no follow link, but it looks legitimate, doesn't look like spam. The next one is mortgage calculator and it's embedded. So I'm just going to quickly look at these anchor texts. Okay, this is what you get if you haven't signed up. You just get the top five links and then you get the rest of where the links come from down here but you get no other details I've got a semi free okay enough of that anyway you can check with whichever tool you normally check with so my preference is SEO Moz when I'm logged in and I'm not going to show everyone the password or if you use Majestic you can get all the details here so if you just click on this it'll take you to Majestic and it'll give you the basic information if you haven't signed up if you have signed up then it'll obviously show you a lot more information but it tells you there's a ton of backlinks loads of referring domains which surprisingly this is lower than SEO Moz normally it's the opposite way it's got plenty of referring IPs and a decent citation flow not necessarily a great trust flow though plenty of EDU backlinks, plenty of government backlinks And any text is looks like it could be a slightly skewed one way, but I don't have a an account with these guys, so I can't log in to show you. But you can ch you can check by you can filter by majestic links number. How many have got an edu link? How many edu links? How many gov links? How many different domains link back to the site via majestic? Different IPs, different C class IPs. AC rank, citation flow, trust flow. Uh, how many pages are in the index? So these have got seven. So if you click on that, it will take you to the normal index um, operator in Google and it will tell you which ones are indexed. Just check what PRs his pages has got. So PR1 throughout. So you've got a couple of pages there you could uh, set up and I'd have PR1 straight away. Um, how many pages are indexed by Majestic? Uh, whether it's got DMOS links, uh, Yahoo Direct links, Yahoo India, Yahoo Australia and then some similar shit stuff here as well uh, so yeah you can filter it by any way you want you can filter it by most expensive price or cheapest price uh, whether you want the soonest finishing auction, auctions page rank or domain age or archive paged pages and any Basically, if you click on any of these blue numbers, I'll take you directly to the details. Okay, so say for example, we want to if you want to go through these and show what you've read, because you might want to filter through quite a lot of them. 
you can press this pin and it will tell you that a little sign comes up saying that yeah, you've already read that or you can right click and mark the domain as red or unread you can add that if you want to just watch rather than bid you can add it to your monitored auctions or you can add notes you can go to different services to check into it a little bit further um, and it, but if you want to bid on if you want to go into the who is information you can go and check it here majestic stuff here but if you just want to go and um, bid then you click on go to the main auction and it will take you directly to the auction so it will take you through and this gives you the auction details so the auction is going to end uh, tomorrow on the 11th 17 minutes past 9 in the morning Pacific time in America currently it's eight pounds so that's 12 about twelve dollars seven years old and three people have looked at it so you can put your bid in there in dollars and see how it goes um, so yeah that's it pretty much that's how I use it that is you can save search as you so you don't keep putting in the same filters um, you can download stuff to CSV files you can show all the different notes that you make or domains that you've looked at or rejected and it's just a really good way of filtering through the information quickly and easily and finding some really good domains I've found some absolute bargains recently some really high power SEO domain so I'm quite happy anyway that's it thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's the end of this hangout cheers